All right, what is going on, guys? Today we are watching Oshinoko episode four. In the last episode, we had Kana and Aqua uh, kind of working on a TV series set together. Apparently, a very trash TV show. Um, so I'm looking forward to this this episode because it seems like Aqua is going to go out with a bang on this. This I believe they're filming the final episode. Um, so yeah, I I'm expecting it for his acting to be insane to the point where the like the overall rating for the show actually goes up i think that'd be hilarious um but yeah this would probably kind of shoot his kind of acting career up yeah i'm looking forward to seeing it anyway so as always guys if you're new to the channel please hit that subscribe button and like the video as well and let's go into this episode right now that's my view right now I've got like two spotlights in front of me like that not in a dark room though kind of What is this kind of backstory right now? Kana Arima's golden age. Has been child actor. Whoa. That's rough. Child actors have a rough life. Like, what's the percentage of them that just nosedive when they become adults? Cheap and shallow, boring in particular, the acting is awful. So this is the best scene in the author's story. Hopefully this doesn't go to shit as well, so the author just isn't fully disappointed. I think Aqua's gonna save it though. His, oh, his acting's so fucking bad. Can we get a replacement this late into it? Say, like a twin brother or something. I don't know. Oh. There comes Aqua. Trekking through the water. No, it works. He's making it more creepy. Good. God. After this performance, the girl is going to want to go with the stalker. Look at this purple guy's trash. Yeah. That's gonna pro put a proper look on his face. Yeah, got him acting properly now. This guy, this guy's got it. Let's go. He pissed him off before he started his line. That was good. Let's go, Kana. Oh god, the knife. Did he actually punch him? Aqua plays this character really fucking well, scarily well, from first hand experience. Even the crew's shocked. Damn, I just got chills. Can they rewrite can they rewrite the story? Can this girl end up with the stalker? Oh, he wasn't meant to. Wow. Made a mess of things. This is going to be the best episode. Yeah, the monster can. Berserker. The face of the maiden who has fallen in love with the protagonist. Now nah, she's fallen in love with the stalker. <laughs> the fuck is this sleeping under? Well, that's unhealthy as shit. Yeah. What are these guys drawing for? Backgrounds and stuff? Oh, are these like editors for the mangaka? Okay. Sound hella depressed about this. Or is she just really focused on Aqua? Oh, yeah. The scene hit. Oh, this is no, this is the actual mangaka. I didn't even, I didn't even tell, like, because uh, she had a hairband on. Look at that! He actually upped the rating of the show. Good fucking job, Aqua. 
It was Kana as well. Watch, there'll be a season two now. Or is that, that was probably the end of the, the actual story. Yeah, you two provided results, you served. No one else did. She is into him. Yay, let's go. And it was the stalker that brought that out. Yeah, for real. Treated my tra treated my manga like some bait trash. Should have done that from the start. Should have let them act. Yeah, I knew it wasn't this guy. Yeah, I mean, true. I'm glad someone recognised that. Oh, look at his pupil growing. Oh, I'm so pretty. Gone too young. Ah, bro, just tell me. That much resembles I. Reality dating show. Okay. Oh, and this is where we're up to present day. Now they're in their high school uniforms. Look at them looking all fly. Oh. <sighs> I miss her. Let's see what kind of characters we're going to meet in this school then. Here's one. <laughs> so she's a uh, second year, I guess. Wow. Idols, actors, big bust. Jeez. Yokoso. Just loads of pretty people, yeah. Yeah, you fit right in, don't worry. Look at this main character looking ass. Got like a country accent. Shouldn't you be in Demon Slayer? Minami. A G Cup? Why is this information on there about high schoolers? A vibe? Interesting. Classic. He's going to become the mysterious boy that everybody wants to get with. <laughs> Making a big excuses there, bro. Yeah, where did that good advice come from, huh? Amazing student. Yeah, the eyes on these main characters, man. Shiranai Frill. She's gonna, <laughs> she's gonna fall for Aqua or something. <laughs> yeah? Got Riz for days, just gonna come speak him to The Do you mean the last episode was good? Damn, she really knows her stuff. Yeah, <laughs> nothing much yet, but I'm trying. <laughs> I'm fucking unemployed. <laughs> Can't we? Can't we just be like, hey, auditions now? Are there really going to be people like this in this school? Then again, with this being the story it is, I wouldn't be surprised. <laughs> Wait, is he going to get Kana in this? Ooh, Kana's going to be in the idol group. Interesting. Right, so that was Oshinoko episode 4. Uh, that was a very good episode once again. I'm enjoying it. It's a little bit more lighthearted now. 
obviously, than it was in the first episode. Um, but yeah, I'm enjoying how the story's progressing. We are slowly kind of working on finding the father. Um, I don't know how it went. Actually, we kind of steered off from it when um, Aqua was talking to that dude who, who he thought was the dad. And he said, hey, do you want to go on a live dating show? So maybe he'll tell him after that. Hopefully it's a good enough clue to kind of put him on the right track at least. Um, but yeah, a lot of uh, colourful characters now that we're meeting in school. Hopefully they're all nice, cool characters. And uh, we'll see if Aqua actually gets some friends. That'd be cool. Yeah, overall a very good episode and I'm definitely looking forward to the next. Anyway guys, I want to thank you guys so much for watching. Have a nice rest of your day and peace out.